I thank you for coming here today. Today is a very uh, today is a very sad day for not only ADC but for the country. For somebody in the quality of Melafia to die the way he just died, it's a big pain. So I'm in pain. I just I left the mortuary about uh, two hours ago. I met the family, the wife, and members of the family. They are very pained, but I told them the president has gone. But he left all of us with some boldness. The boldness with which we pursue the change that must happen in this country. We must continue in his boldness because change must happen in this country. This country is going down. We cannot continue this way. This country is going down. If people can now not, not express themselves, and so on, and then they, 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 uh, they become, they, they, they now subjected to the be on the run for the rest of their life. How can this country move forward? Just about it. This people were just people who were uh, calling me to to uh, uh, console us. Just uh, one of them just uh, uh, sent me his statement just eight days ago. And he said, pray for me that for some reasons he has a very deep feeling that he's been haunted by some top people to remove him from planet Earth. Whether they did or not, whether they did or not, Almighty God lives but whatever has happened, May Lafia has left a legacy. A legacy that challenges every elite in this country. Every elite. Because we have elites in this country who are like this in the night and like the other, the other way in the day. He's challenging them. Save Nigeria. Whether I'm alive or not, save Nigeria. Save Nigeria. The country is not going well. I feel pained that we have lost a very brilliant nation builder. Somebody who inspires everybody with knowledge, with humility, transparency, ability to do anything, and teamwork. His boldness is inspiring. Whether it's alive or not, he remains a leader. You die for something. Um, for somebody who speaks the truth and who speaks boldly the way uh, he did, you will expect that in any serious country, they will look after him. Because you, 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 uh, you need people to challenge the authorities. You need people to say, be able to talk, speak truth to power. If all of us remain docile because of the contract we are looking for, if all of us remain docile because we are so scared that something may happen to us, and so on, what country do, do, uh, 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 do you think we have? A country with over 200 million people? You have 200 million docile people who cannot speak their mind? Then the country is gone already. So. It's a very, I don't want to say wrong time, but not a good time for Melafia to leave this world because his energy, his knowledge, intelligence, boldness, courage is needed now because all of us are threatened across Nigeria. You go to the southeast, threat. You go to the northeast, everybody is threatened. You go to Boronu, everybody is threatened. You go to even Katsina, the president's home, everybody is threatened. And you wonder, what are the leaders who are holding serious positions in this country? What are they doing? What are they doing? Nothing? 
You're leaving 200, 200 and something million men and women. A country that has been projected that between now and that by 2050 will be almost our, the population of Nigeria will be like the, 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 uh, the third in the world. And we are still here fiddling with our, our politics, not protecting people with courage, people with knowledge. Um, you know, with uh, Afiab, since he joined our party, he's been around. He's, he's been around. When we call for meetings, he come around. And they occasionally have had him do uh, participate in the in, in, in the in the in the ADC leadership clinic. So he's he's he's, he's touched uh, a lot of mind. And apart from in the ADC, he's touched a lot of because he was speaking. When you speak, you touch people. When you don't speak out, you don't touch people. So. The number of soldiers, the number of soldiers, courageous, bold soldiers, young men and women, that Melafia has inspired before the ugly, sad incident of today are many. And uh, by the grace of God, you know, uh, I left the... the the uh, mortuary and then some of our party leaders you know said let us meet here and I'm here we we have dedicated this life to, uh, to God we will work with the family and um, and uh, I believe by the time we will have young men and women who are bold enough to defend this country, to lead this country in the future. By the time we 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 we, we, uh, we, we, we will do um, something in his memory, I believe Nigerians will see the uh, green orange color all around Nigeria, including Katsina, including Borano, including everywhere. We are going to bury him as a matter with our green and yellow color. Thanks for checking out Symphony on YouTube. Please be sure to subscribe and like our videos for updates.